Oh, here he is. Are Dollar Tree craft kits even worth the money? Let's find out. Don't wait for tomorrow. Dollar Tree stuff today. What I noticed on my last trip to the Dollar Tree when I found the really cool resin kits that I did uh, was that there are lots of craft kits now at the Dollar Tree. Craft kits are really hit or miss. They can be absolutely amazing and fun and make cool stuff. Or they can be absolute garbage. You never know what you're going to get until you do the craft. I keep getting comments on anything I post about the Dollar Tree like, did you mean Dollar General? Because that's not a dollar. Guys, Dollar Tree is no longer a dollar. Number one, everything in there costs at least a dollar twenty-five, and every Dollar Tree now has a Dollar Tree Plus section that sells things from three dollars to five dollars. And my entire Dollar Tree is just Dollar Tree Plus. So we're gonna see if these kits are worth your dollars, or if they just are garbage kits that that weren't that weren't worth it in the first place. Let's go craft. Okay, the first thing I got were these. I thought these were absolutely hilarious when I saw them. Do on the go minis, which makes you think there's a do on the go not minis, like regular size. But this is like Play Doh, but you put it on a base and it's gonna be a little walky and it's a zombie. As a matter of fact, both of the ones I got were zombies. Uh, look at how cute he's gonna be. There were different things like penguins and frogs and things, but honestly, these cute little zombie faces, I, I seriously could not resist these. Oh my God, they're so cute. And this was $3. It actually gives us instructions on the back. Basically, you're just going to squish the dough around the base and then make your zombie stuff. Uh, it says that's a hat. You, there's no hat here. That's brains. Okay, so this is what we get. It looks like, oh my God, it's even tinier than I thought. My thumb right it's so small it's already so cute oh yeah okay we get four different colors of dough a green and then a bigger yellow and two small red and black we get stickers but these are actually like thick kind of vinyl stickers and this was only three dollars like if it's only three dollars you're not expecting to get toys it's a syringe <laughs> Bloody saw. <laughs> okay. Let's get to sculpting our zombie. It does say to let the clay air dry for 24 hours because air dry clay can be amazing, but sometimes from the dollar store, maybe not. Oh, this is really, really good already. Oh, yeah. That is like, mm, that is good clay. <laughs> okay. It's a zombie. I feel like you don't have to be super precise. I do need to be able to turn this though. But this is really good air dry clay. Really good. Oh yeah, buddy. Zombie got a big old head. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. Okay, well. Zombie guts all over me. Just zombies everywhere. Okay, that, mm. It says use tools to add texture and details. There are no tools. There are only the stickers. If this wasn't a zombie, I'd be more worried about like color bleeding and stuff like that. But since it is, I don't care. Actually, I'm gonna do like this. That's gonna look so good. Okay, it's going right up here. Okay. As I'm making him, I want you guys to be thinking of a name for him. Okay, let's give him a little shoulder blade up here. Give him a little shoulder blade over here. If you're wondering if your child could do this, definitely. <laughs> If Dr. Squish can do this so poorly, so can my child. And some little hands on the end of his little arms. It's like, oh, yes, so good. And right there. He's gonna hold the saw. Okay. He's gonna hold it. Because that's what the one on the box is doing. And I kind of want him to hold it. Syringe. What? I actually love this kit. Like, love it. I am in love with this little zombie. They said to use tools, but they didn't give me any tools. So if you have clay tools... That might be fun to work with. <gasps> Look at him! Oh my gosh, he's amazing! This is so cute! He's definitely a little zombie. <laughs> I also got this one, um, who is really crazy looking. He's got a hatchet. <laughs> Here's all the pieces for this guy. What in the heck? I don't know, he looks like a little caveman. <laughs> this is so good! <laughs> okay, guys, it has been 24 hours. <laughs> You can see I laid him down 
on his back. He is pretty like dry here, but this is just as wet as it was yesterday. So I think it would be more than 24 hours and we would probably have to turn him in different directions. I don't know why this is so funny to me. The clay was so soft that he squashed down. He didn't keep his shape. I still think it was fantastic for the value and it's really cute. And being that he is a zombie, I don't think it really matters what he looks like. If he were supposed to be a penguin or a frog that needs a certain shape, this might not work so well. But for a zombie, who cares? He's so cute. Let's see if he walks. Oh, wrong way. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> He's not really stable. I think maybe the clay is just too heavy for him to walk. Here is the mechanism from the other one. Let's see if it walks without clay on it. Yeah. So it does walk without clay on it. I didn't test this one first, so maybe I just got a dud that wasn't working. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's still so cute, and for $3, this was a super fun and really, really cute craft. <laughs> One more try. Oh no! So the first kit was a success, definitely worth my $3. He is absolutely hilarious. I don't know what you guys have named him in the comments, but he's so funny to me. Ugh, I love this kit. I love everything about it. <laughs> Highly recommend. And like I said, it wasn't just zombies. They did have animals and, and things. Success! I'm so happy. Way to go, little zombie. Three likes. That's totally worth it. I love those. I want to make all the zombies. That was so much fun. <laughs> He's so cute. Next up, we have our most expensive kit of the day at $5. See that? Design and make real glitter charms, and then you design them, shake, and wear. I have no idea what this means. Shake and Shimmer. I have not actually heard of these before. I saw them in the Dollar Tree. It was $5 and it says there's 60 charms to collect. Oh, the top just comes right off. Let's, oh, look at all the stuff you get in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of instructions. Holy cow. These are my charms. It looks like I got a suitcase. Oh, it says I love pink. Uh, a star, a key with a heart, and what are you? You guys, is that a monkey? Okay, this is where they cheaped out a bit. The bracelet is just a cord. It's not like a chain or anything, and then there's some clasps and things in here. Okay, let's see what we do. There's different compartments, so each compartment's gonna get a glitter. Let's see if I can do this without getting glitter all over my table and myself. Won't be the first time. Won't be the last time. Yeah, 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 definitely do not buy this for small children. This is, wow. This is really, really fine glitter. It's going to get everywhere glitter. If you hate that, do not buy this. Okay, silver, gold. Okay, so I'm going to take the brush and the glue, and I'm going to paint the, the charm with the glue. Think about Mod Podge, right? We're going to we're gonna glue it up. Then you guys, this is going to go on here. Like, that's what this is. It, it sticks in there like that. Put this on like this, this on like this. Oh, I'm so nervous. You see where we're going here? It says shake for 15 seconds. Here we go. Please don't go all over my house. Two. Okay, and then it says tap the excess glitter back into the hole. Yeah, that's not gonna work. And then I take it out, uber glittery. And you're just supposed to let it dry for like 10 minutes? I'm gonna put it in here. This is my drying tray. Super simple, all right. Since this one says I love pink, I assume I'm supposed to do pink. So as I'm doing this, is this easy? Yep, is it simple? Yep, is there a huge opportunity for a mess? Yes, there is. Okay, then we're gonna twist this to the pink one. Oh, <gasps> it did. I still think it's gonna get contamination from the gold. There's no way to clean this out. Okay, shaky, shaky. Here we go. Container. Ooh, look a blob. <laughs> it did say I love pink and now it's just a blob. It didn't really contaminate too much with the gold. Okay, so that was my last charm. I'm going to let them dry and then supposedly you paint over them and let that dry and then they can go on a bracelet. These have been drying for like a while now. So I'm just gonna paint a clear coat of this uh, glitter. Glue, slime, glue. <laughs> what am I trying to say? 
this glue over it. The brush is kind of stiff now, so I don't know how much this is gonna work, but. Okay, now it has to dry and we can put it on the bracelet. They did dry, uh, so they shouldn't have too much glitter coming. Okay, never mind. <laughs> So they shouldn't have too much glitter coming off, but they still kind of do. Not as bad as before. We're going to get them off of these little sticks. Even though it has been drying for 24 hours, it's still kind of tacky. I'm going to start stringing these onto the bracelet. These little charms in between. You could just hang these from the bracelet, but these are actually meant to hang them from. So let's put one of these on. Okay, I popped it on there. That one's actually pretty cute to me. Here is what the bracelet looks like. It is a very cute charm bracelet. Again, not for adult arms. Like, that's not going around my arm. But it is stretchy. Okay, so there is our charm bracelet. Very fancy, very sparkly, very shiny. I'm going to try it, guys, on my big old wrist. Woohoo! Okay, <laughs> it actually did go on my wrist. I did it. It's a bit tight. It's kind of like wearing a hair elastic. So it actually does fit on my wrist. I cannot believe it. Was it worth five dollars? Mm, probably not. I think maybe three. So what's the verdict on craft number two? I think it worked. I'm actually really surprised. It worked exactly like it was supposed to. Was it worth five dollars? No, it was not. <laughs> I think that if this craft had been three dollars like the first one, then I would say yeah, it was totally worth the money. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments like what you thought of this craft. It did what it said. It worked really well. I'm so surprised this shaker thing actually, like all of it worked exactly like it was supposed to. I don't think it's worth five bucks. You know, that's just my opinion. So let me know your opinion. All right, for our last craft, we got dinosaurs. I'm so excited. I think this is gonna be really neat. It says bones and foam. I had a joke about nicknames in high school, but we're gonna we're not we're gonna gloss over that. All right, bones and foam. Oh, parasaurolophus. Par parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Parasol. Par Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. I don't know how you say that word. <laughs> this one was also $3. And it says on the back here, mess free hands. I will be the judge of that. Okay, we got bones and foam Parasaurolophilus. <laughs> Why can't I say that word? <gasps> it's a puzzle. I love puzzles. Oh dear, this is a lot of pieces. Okay, we got foam. That's it, that was all that was in the box. It's like putting together my Ikea furniture. I am so, oh God, oh Lord. They're numbered on here. <sighs> For time's sake, I'm gonna put this thing together and I'm gonna speed it up so you don't have to watch me struggle. Let's put it together. Here we go. is called put together uh was it easy yeah actually this is kind of like legos you know like they had everything really marked out well it wasn't hard did it take a long time yes it took a long time <laughs> okay this took a while i speeded it sped it speed it up it sped it was a very speed speedy so if you just like the model of the dinosaur, I think this is actually pretty cool. This little balsa wood dinosaur model. You don't even have to do this part, but it did come with the foam, so I'm, I'm gonna do it. Now you guys know I have made a lot of slime in my day. I know the difference between play foam and slime. This is slime. So they have literally added a colorful red slime to the foam and it will eventually dry out since it's just glue and kind of hold everything together. I'm just gonna start sticking it and molding it in places. This part makes me more nervous than putting it together. They gave me three pouches, but this is a really big model. I don't know how much I need to use. Literally, I have no idea how far this is gonna go. Now, I have already used an entire package of the red slime and it has only gone this far. And I'm not, I'm, I'm literally squishing it. Like you can see the wood through. So I don't know that this stuff is gonna last. 
Okay, I'm gonna try and just kind of lay it over. <laughs> See how far we can stretch this stuff. Okay, I have officially used all of the red. As you can see on the box, they had enough red to go all over the legs, all over the arms, and all over the tail. I did not. So let's see about these other colors. Okay, they use this kind of peachy beige one underneath. Oh dear. Ah, I don't know. This does not look like theirs looks. Okay, so this is as far as the beige one went, and it is very, very spotty. Uh, yeah. So that one didn't go far at all. And I'm trying not to, like, squish it too far into the hole so I don't waste it. Like, I'm trying to just put it on the surface, and still, still, <laughs> it is not easy. All right, let's open the orange one. Okay, we got a very nice orange foam here. I'm gonna just try and cover up the legs and things that didn't cover up with the red. Okay, so I want you guys to look uh, at what has been covered so far, and this is all I got left, and they actually used this for all of the decoration. If I want him covered or if I want him to have decoration, it's like, which is most important here? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> here's my dinosaur! So, yeah, there was not nearly enough foam. I mean, I tried to use it sparingly and spread it over, and it just, it definitely does not look like this. Here he is in all of his weird glory. Oh lord. Okay. I have some thoughts about this last craft. A bunch of them actually. Okay, first and foremost, he's cute, right? But they did not give me nearly enough foam to complete the craft like it is supposed to be on the box. It says bones and foam. If there had only been even one more pouch of each color of foam, there would have been plenty. At the same time, this craft was only $3, so you kind of have to wait. Was it a good craft? I think it was a really good craft. I loved putting together the bones, and then when I was at the end of the bones, I had this really cool like bone sculpture. You could have just left it there. That would have been worth $3 in itself to me. This is what you call a rainy day craft. This was perfect. It, it would probably take you like over an hour to to complete the whole thing, putting it together. It just didn't have enough foam, so it just doesn't deliver what it shows on the box. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I am shocked today that all three of my dollar store crafts ended up being worth the money. Now, it was only three and three and five dollars, but all together, probably around twelve dollars for three crafts that were really fun, good crafts that worked. That never happens. So, the Dollar Tree has got some really fun craft kits. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these or if you think that you would like to try any of these and what you thought of these crafts today. Hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, squishy fans.